Hello, my name is Mac McDougall. I've graduated in GMIT with my honours degree in mechanical engineering. Um, as part of my final year, I chose the energy stream. Um, when I was in my leave insert, uh, going through school, I always had um, an interest in how things work. So going through my leave insert, then um, I had the opportunity to study in a university or a college. And I chose to study in an IT, a college, because I felt that engineering was a practical subject and IT offered the um, unique experience of having 50% practical experience and 50% theoretical experience. When you come in from uh, school, you have a basic understanding of maths. But one of the big things from moving from school to college is not just learning off maths, but understanding how you're going to solve the particular problem and why you're solving the particular problem. So maths, obviously, as an engineer, you need to know, but also there's, um, you need to have a strong understanding of physics because math it, it's sometimes hard to understand where math fits in with the real world situations. But that's where physics comes in, so it's, it's really applicable to, to real world situations. Some of the skills you'll develop within GMIT um, as a, your learning experience is, uh, which stuck close to my heart, was presentations. I came in and I was so nervous in front of crowds and within GMIT I did so many presentations in my third year, it was unbelievable. Um, and I was actually able to stand up in front of a hundred and so students at the end of my final year to present my final year project. What's great about uh, GMIT is the 50-50% where you get 50% theory and 50% practical experience. Um, so whenever you spent an hour in the classroom, you had an hour in the lab where you're actually physically learning, picking up things with your hands, building circuits, uh, working down on the workshop, um, using lathes, uh, making your own little projects. So that was, that was amazing for, from the experience within GMIT. Also, um, math in first year, you did huge, a lot, lot amount of math. You did a huge amount of math. And one of the first things that stood out to me is you, you were told where this math is applicable in the real world. Whenever you're starting integration, differentiation, you were told this is what it is, this is how it's going to be used, and this is what um, industrial people use it for. That was another great thing about GMIT. Also, coming into uh, third year and fourth year in, in your degree course, you really built up a relationship with the lecturers because you were doing, um, you were actually putting in overtime your, with your projects, yet um, you are going home doing your homework, but you're also doing projects on the side. And part of that experience was going into your lecturer's office and, and talking to them, working through particular problems. Now, a lot of the time you didn't actually know an answer, or the lecturer mightn't know the answer, but as engineers you work through it in stages and you problem solve. And that's what's a um, great experience within GMIT. And then in the final year, uh, as part of the final year project, working with your supervisor, which is an amazing experience, works closely with such great minds because you have that inside um, experience because they worked, maybe they came from an industrial background or an educational background where they'd have PhDs or they've been working in industry for maybe 10, 20 years. So that experience working closely with your lecturers was something you just, you couldn't think about when you're in coming from school to college, that you just didn't think you'd have such a close relationship with people.